Uh, hello and welcome to our 2024 F1 predictions with me and Ajax. Uh, Ajax, how are you doing? Oh, I'm all right. Yes, thank you very much for having me back for another season. Yeah, we're we're excited for the season as the last one was very underwhelming. In <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's say like that. Um, hopefully, we can have a much better season this time. As it's looking very promising, we we're hearing from a lot of teams that they made some good progress, but also we know that Red Bull haven't developed developed their car, their last year's car, like in the middle of the season. And pretty much they have already quite a big lead. But hopefully we can get some close battles up in the front. Yeah, uh wanna start? Um I'll just quickly explain how it's gonna work. We're doing gonna do two places in the driver championship and then the team. Uh then one one uh, one team in the constructors basically. Uh, I'm gonna yeah. switch switch sides every single time. Okay. So I guess you can start with your last two places in the drivers and last constructors. Oh, oh difficult, difficult, difficult. Um I'm gonna go still you know, after last season, not having much hope for Sergeant, but I do think the Williams is gonna be quite quick. So I'm actually gonna put Magnuson at the bottom. Okay. The bottom place. Uh, you can co- uh, do you know how to copy it? Oh, you know. Okay, you're, you're smart. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Um, I just, I, I, I don't have any hope for Haas yet again. Another season where it's just like, ugh, this car's going to be slow. Um, the yeah. same could be said for the uh, the cash app. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but I am actually going to put Sergeant next because I just think, you know, he, he he's not shown much so far. Will this is sort of his season to start showing stuff because, like, the fact he got another year's drive is lucky. Yeah. Um, he's got that American link up basically with the American owners of Williams. Um, so yeah, I just I, I'm looking for that. And then the last place team, I will put Haas again. I don't think they'll be quick at all. Uh, no hope for them this season. Uh, let me just make sure I'm doing this properly. There you go. Nice. Um, so, as I said, Magnuson already on the bottom. But, yeah, I think I think last season they had quality pace. This season, I'm a bit worried they won't even have that. So, Yeah, I completely get what you mean, because I have pretty much the same thoughts. They, I, I just read an article on Twitter that's saying they expect it to be the slowest car in Bahrain, and with their development progression over the season in the past years, we can confidently say that they're not going to be improving throughout the season, especially with that budget not coming from Gene Haas himself. The team is just uh, should honestly sell to Andretti at this point. I don't think they're yeah. a very serious team, but unfortunately, we're having one more year of them. So, I mean, technically, it's, I'm it's, surprised. It's, I'm surprised because I'm guessing they're getting a lot of money from stake. Based on how much money you stake throws at everything else. You mean uh, MoneyGram, their sponsor? I think stake. Oh, is it MoneyGram now? Yeah, M- oh. MoneyGram is the Haas sponsor, stake is the Sauber sponsor. Oh, yeah, you're correct. You're correct. My bad. Yeah, two money things, uh, money sponsors. Yeah. <laughs> Always. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I pretty much the same thoughts. I'm going to pick Haas for P10 and constructors as well. Uh, I don't think they're going to be. Uh, competing with the teams up ahead, I think it's pretty much going to be just them at the bottom. Maybe, maybe fighting with like Sauber and the whatever team name AlphaTauri now has. Uh, <laughs> Cash up RB. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm just going to call them Racing Bulls as that's what the RB is supposed to mean on them, but they haven't clarified that the, the RB means Racing Bulls. So the people would actually say Visa Cash up, but I'm not going to say that. Same way, I'm not gonna call Sauber Steak uh, for personal reasons. I just don't like gambling companies, and I just don't like yeah, the team exactly. name in itself. I I'm just gonna call it Sauber Racing Bulls. I think that's all right for me. I can call them whatever you want. I'm not gonna judge you by that, but just my opinion. All right, um, my P20 in uh, drivers is Magnuson as well. Uh, it's pretty much a no brainer here, as I'm putting has in the last in constructors. Uh, in P19, I'm actually going to put in Guan Yu Zhou. I think Sauber is going to have another bad season, pretty much. 
just like the last one with Haas and the Sauber team uh, in the bottom two spots and the constructors. But if I think Joe is going to be the second driver in that team once again, as Bottas is just a better driver. Um, yeah, pretty much that's, that's for, for me. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I I I I agree somewhat with those decisions. Um, as you'll see, kind of soon. But uh, up next, I'm going to go. Do I go there? So so the issue is right. I think the racing balls isn't going to be that quick. Maybe, but I still think they have the better driver lineup compared to a lot of other teams. So I'm going to go Joe next. Um, like you. Uh, All right. And. And then beyond that, I'm going to put Magnuson because uh, I think uh, uh, not Magnuson. Sorry, I've already put Magnuson. I'm going to put the <laughs> other half of Hulkenberg um, because I think um, Hulkenberg's very good. He'll probably get a point or two this season, uh, and I, I just don't see the rest of them getting many points at all. Uh, obviously, yeah. Joe's shown some some ra- racing skill, but compared to it's, you know, it's it's another pay driver, obviously. I feel like that is fairly obvious when you watch them race. Uh, so yeah, I just I do I do not have the belief in uh, in that car. And yeah, so uh, I I'm very yeah. You know what? I'll put Salva next. I will put Salva next. I feel like it's it's kind of the easy way out, but uh, not there. Sorry. Uh, there, um, okay. like they, they've not shown much of anything in the last few seasons. Very much like Haas uh, last season. I, we talked about this in our review. Just nothingness in terms of um, being rememberable at all. Um, so yeah, I'm just not not in the belief of them. Yeah, Audi can come quick enough. As it seems, uh, yes, they're coming in twenty twenty six. So we have two two more years of this whatever team this team is at the moment. Because I don't think they're pretty much. I don't think they're having the Sauber name in the team name uh, officially. I think just a stake F one team. I, I know the kick Sauber was supposed to be there. I don't think it's anymore. It's just stake F one team. I, it sounds so bad. It's just awful. <laughs> I, I really really hate it. Uh, if it wasn't for 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 the recent name change in the other team, I would probably hate it. Uh, like as the most not the most hated team name on the grid. Um, yeah, from my point of view, I pretty much explained it as well. Uh, Sauber uh, in in P nine, I don't think it's gonna be a good season for them. I just gonna be I just gonna think uh, they're gonna be quicker than Haas, but that's just about it. Like being quicker than Haas is not. That big of a deal. Uh, you're still going to finish P9 constructors because the other teams can score points and will score points. Uh, this is one of my predictions. Uh, apart from uh, all of this, is that those bottom two teams are not going to score points in the entire season. That's my predictions as well. Oh uh, damn! Okay. So I'm pre- predicting like this order based on the best finishing position, basically. Yep. Yeah, okay. Um, my. P18 is Nico Hulkenberg in Haas. Um, pretty much the checkerboard of Sabres and Haas as I have Baltus in P18. That's oh, already something. Yeah, I don't have much hope for them either, even though Baltus and Hulkenberg shown they can deliver on some occasions and be very good for their teams. Their cars are just going to be too bad to score any points, in my opinion. I think like yeah, but those those two teams are going to be the laughing laughing stock of this season. Uh, pretty much what 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 they were last season, but we had more of a we we, we more laughed more on Sargent and uh, the brace, for example. So I would say yeah, uh, those two teams are going to be the main target of memes and things like that. All right. Yeah, I think that's fair. Uh. I, I mean, I'm going to start zooming through these because I think it's fairly obvious what what they're going to be. Again, I am looking at Racing Balls. I am looking at Williams, but I just think Albon, Ricardo, and Sonoda are too good of drivers to put down there so far. So I think up next, I am going to put down probably Bottas. Um, 
I think uh, again that car isn't going to be very quick this season. I think he's probably got the racing craft to do well enough in it. So uh, I'm going to put him up there, and uh, you know it's, uh, it suits certain tracks the sub as well. Uh, and then up next is sort of the 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 big calls start happening now. I will say um, it's a it's a competition between Ricardo and Sonoda basically. Because I think Albon's going to be close to them. I think I'm going to go Danny Rick. I don't know why. I just have a little bit of belief in Sonoda. And I don't think that car is going to be incredibly quick this season. Um, I, 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 but, you know, it's a risky one. Because there, there are tracks that Ricardo does well at. But I, I don't know if he's just not going to get there. Um, and then I guess up next would be Williams, uh, which is a spoiler for how how low I think uh, uh, Albon will be. But yeah, Williams up next. Yeah, uh, uh, I pretty much the same thinking uh, in this way. I guess director's speed for Williams is my pick as well. Um, I just don't feel like they're gonna make that big of a jump. Uh, to the, the teams ahead. I think the top five teams is going to be pretty much the same uh, as last year. But pretty much for the entire grid, I think they're going to be pretty much where they left off in Abu Dhabi and the last few races. Uh, yeah, Williams showed on, on occasions they can do well, especially in Albon's hands. Uh, the, that car was, I think, could have fought the Alpines if they had two uh, great drivers like Ocon and Gasly. I think the Williams could have Fought Alpine and the constructors, but unfortunately, uh, they didn't have. They don't have still. Even though Sargent could improve this season, I don't think it's going to be much of an improvement. As Sargent is is in my P16 spot, which is quite quite high up, uh, I admit. But still, I it's just basing on that the two teams behind them don't score any points, and Sargent scores some points, but it's just uh, not enough by any stretch of imagination. And P15. Is uh, this might come as a shock, but I got Lance Stroll in P15. I think Aston Martin is yeah. gonna be uh, not as competitive as last year, pretty much. Uh, Alonso is gonna be up there in the, in the top 10, that's for sure, but I just don't think Stroll is gonna be as consistent and uh, pretty much the same thing as last year, except that Aston Martin is gonna be worse. So that means Lance Stroll down in the, in the driver's championship. Stroll was coming up for me as well. I will say, um, but before that, we'll go with Albon up next. I think uh, Albon's just a superb driver and will do very well yet again this season. I had a real belief in Albon. Same with Sonoda. You know, I think these two are going to not have the cars, but uh, maybe it's risky saying that the uh, racing balls won't be better because, of course, the red balls have been so good. But uh, yeah, I think uh, Sonoda up next. And that, that should formalize that uh, the racing bulls are my next pick for the teams um i think they're both gonna have very good seasons obviously just not amazing and same with ricardo uh i just think they'll just be off that that battle for the midfield unfortunately with the uh well we'll come to it in my list but yeah that's that's where they are for me uh, yeah, I completely understand uh, this belief in Racing Bulls team. Even though I have uh, I have them one spot higher, uh, as I have Alpine in P7, I just think yeah, yeah. That's, that's I, good. I just think that they are gonna be they're gonna have the better car, just a black tiny beat. And actually, I think their driver lineups are pretty much similar in terms of strength, in terms of Racing Bulls and Alpine. Uh, even though Ricardo is not as good as he used to be, I still think uh, there's some talent in Ricardo. He wouldn't be in Formula One right now if he couldn't yeah. drive a car. Uh, it's just that he needs to unlock it uh, in the future. Uh, as for my, we saw in uh, we saw in Mexico last season. Yeah, yeah, we we saw that Ricardo still has it in him. He just needs to unlock it and be consistent, and not have Abu Dhabi 2023 uh, where Sonoda just demolishes him. Yeah, uh, my P14 is Esteban Ocon. Uh, actually, <laughs> I took it from, from the left. Uh, okay, 
P14 for Simulacra, I think is going to be the second driver in Alpine. I think Gasly, uh, coming into second year in Alpine, is going to have the edge on Ocon uh, in both quality and race. Not not a big one. I think they're going to be still really close to each other. I just think Gasly is going to improve from last year, and Ocon is pretty much going to stay the same. A very solid driver, but it's just not not that quality driver as uh, those in the top ten in the in the driver championship, for example, for me. And uh, B13, I have Albon, as pretty much uh, where Williams is going to be, pretty much the same as last year. Uh, Albon is going to score some good points, but that's about it. The Williams is still uh, still has quite a big gap to the teams up ahead, and I just don't think like uh, they're going to have the drive line up to fight Alpine and Racing Bulls uh, in the constructors. So, okay, let's see. Yeah, yeah, I think I think you. Uh... You definitely bring up some good points there. Um, I, 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 up next, I'm going to have As- uh, not Aston Martin. I'm going to up next have Stroll because you know similar reasons for you. I think uh, I think their car will just be good enough to to beat those lower cars yet again, basically. But I do think he's going to really struggle against the Alpines this season. I mean, he showed a few promising glimpses at the end of the season. And he he isn't an awful, awful driver. He's definitely been capable in the past. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to put him there. And then I'm going to actually believe in Ocon over Gasly, because uh, Gasly will be my next driver. Uh, I don't think those two are very separable, but I do think Ocon is just a bit better overall. Um, but I, I, I like how the, what the Alpine's doing with the whole fully French team, fully French uh, driver lineup. Uh, And I think that's kind of a a cool thing for them to do. And then uh, it's very close, but I'm going to put the Alpines up next in my driver standards. Basically the opposite of you. We we switched our Alpines and racing balls, shall we say. But beyond that, it's similar. Yeah, unless I have racing balls in the P3 or something like that. Oh, unless, unless you yeah. might, you might not. You did see, yeah, 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 fair enough. Yeah, I, as you can see, I haven't picked any racing balls car driver yet. So we have no, you haven't actually. That's a, that is that is true. Yeah, you have a lot of belief in them, and maybe I should have more belief in them. I am thinking their lineup is similar to similar in skill level to the Alpines. So yeah. Uh... That's pretty much what I think. I just feel like they're going to be uh, have a bit of better card than Alpine uh, over the entire season. I think some on some races, obviously, the Alpine is going to be quicker, and all the other races is going to be the racing bulls. But over the entire season, on average, I think the racing bulls card is going to be just a bit better. And with the drive lineup, same to Alpines. I think they're going to finish six pieces in the constructors, mainly thanks to their partnership with Red Bull that's been enhanced. Uh, this season, uh, they're bringing more parts for the RB19, and we just know how good that car is. Uh, so yeah, if if they're not missing the P6, at least in the constructors, I would be uh, very surprised because I mean, if they're bringing like half the RB19 into their car, the car just cannot be slow. Uh, just how it is. Um, from my P12, um, fortunately, I don't feel like he's gonna improve. As much from the last season, but uh, still going to be decent. Just not good enough for for the switch to Red Bull. And yeah, P12 for Ricardo. I think he's going to be beaten by Sonoda. Not by a big margin. Pretty much the same as for the Alpines. Just uh, like like eleven to eleven to eight in qualifying or those uh, those head to heads. You know, uh, just just having the edge on the other driver. Just not by much. Uh, in terms of a B11, I have Pierre Gasly not as far ahead uh, Ocon, but still three positions, like 10 or 20 points maybe uh, at maximum, just very close uh, in those three teams behind the top teams. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, that's a, that's a fair point. I think uh, I think similarly to you in, that, in terms of that. Um, I am going to go up next for, I, I mean, it, it has to be Ocon, I think. It has to be Ocon, and then, um, because I've gone Gazdi and Ocon, very similar 
I think they'll get a similar amount of points across the season as well, just depending on car breakdowns mainly, I guess is the thing. And then uh, Alonso will be up next for me. I don't think that car is going to be very quick this season because obviously Alonso is a very good driver, can do well. Um, and pull them into the points a few times, but I really don't think he's going to be at the pace that he was last season. And that does mean that uh, up next is my Aston Martins. All right. So, yeah. I like that we have pretty much the same thinking uh, for the bottom six so far. As, yeah, I have a little Aston Martin and P5 as well, as I kind of hinted at as with Stroll and P15. Um, though I don't have Alonso that higher up, I just have him P9 and P10 for you. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I copied the wrong one. No, P9 for Alonso and P10 for Sunoda. That's pretty me pretty much gonna be like uh Aston Martin is gonna be better a better car than the three cars behind. It's just that Alonso uh will actually perform what the car can do and Stroll is just not not very consistent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah pretty much what we saw last season as uh, Aston Martin could definitely finish P2 in the constructors if they had two Alonzos. So yeah. Uh yeah, that's pretty much Uh, should I talk about Sunoda or like? <laughs> I pretty much explain <laughs> explains what I think about Sunoda's season with her garden. Just, yeah, um, yeah, you have, yeah, definitely. I think you've put it very high up, so that's definitely a a big call from you. So a respectable call as well, I will say. But we, are, yeah, we are very similar so far, and I think that makes sense. I think this is where I'm going to start veering, I guess, away from you. Um, right. But it's it's interesting, right? Because I'm looking at the last few people and like, what's going to happen? Obviously, we saw uh, the pace of the McLaren at the end of last season, and I really, really hope they don't just regress back to being bad like they seem to do every Bahrain. So I'm <laughs> going to hope beyond hope that that happens. And with that in mind, I'm actually going to put Science up next. Uh, pretty unfair on Science to put him eighth, obviously. But I just don't think the Ferrari is going to be nearly as competitive as the other three cars are. Um, so I'm really, yeah, not looking, not thinking that the uh, it's going to be a quick season for these uh, for these Ferraris. Up next, I'll put Piastri as well. Uh, we saw the latter half of the season. He obviously picked up the pace at some point in the mid mid range of the season. Won that incredible sprint race at Spa. Did he win or did he come second? Uh, he comes. He came second because Max overtook him. Is it Baku he won? Uh, he won the Qatar Qatar sprint. Yes. Yes. Sorry. Yeah, Qatar. That's what I meant. Um, Yes. So uh, he did really well, but then after Qatar, he sort of drifted a bit into the mid pack. Uh, Wasn't as nice on his tires as Lando was. So I'm going to end up putting him seventh. Uh, But that being said, I think these. Uh, the them and my next driver are very very close to each other um, and that, with that in mind I'm going to put Ferrari in fourth as I say I don't think they'll be as quick as the other three teams this season yeah it's pretty fair um, I mean expecting much from Ferrari is is not very smart especially way when to get from, your heart broken yeah yeah Whenever you expect Ferrari to be good, they just happen to not be good. And uh, I feel like if my predictions don't come correct, uh, yours are gonna are gonna be correct that way. As I'm the Ferrari believer in these predictions, and my P4 in the constructors actually Mercedes. Uh, this is isn't much because of their drive lineup or their car. It's just overall the teams are gonna be so close and. I feel like okay. in terms of consistency over the entire season, I think Mercedes is going to be like jumping whatever from second to fifth fastest car at points. Uh, so my P8 is George Russell. I think he's going to be pretty much having the same, not the same season as last year. I think he's going to be improving closer to Hamilton. I just don't feel like it's going to be enough. Uh, there's going to be a, Interesting. A, a visible gap between the Mercedes drivers. As uh, yeah, uh, P7 is Oscar Piastri for pretty much the same reasoning as you. I think he's going to be improving from last year. Uh, he, he showed on some occasions that he can beat Landon Norris. Uh, 
fair and square. So I think it's gonna that's gonna happen more often this season. I just feel like Lando is is gonna improve even more from last year. Just uh, I have good hopes for Lando this season. Fair enough. Fair enough. I I uh, yeah, I respect that. I think we're gonna be very similar, but with different teams. Uh, based on that. Up next for me is Leclerc. As I said, I think these three are going to be really close to each other. Uh, PS3 sides of Leclerc. Um, in terms of the driver championship, I do think they're just going to be away from that top pack, unfortunately, which uh, are my top five. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't think they're going to be mega quick um, all season. And that's probably the reason that I'm going to end up putting McLaren just in four. Oh, wait, I need to do another driver, don't I? Yeah. Okay, so here's my risky one. I sort of know what top three I want. So it is very much between the next two where I put them. Do I take a huge risk? Let's not take a huge risk. Let's put Russell up next uh, in fifth. Uh, I think similar reasons to you. I, I don't think the Mercedes is going to be super quick this season compared to the top team. Um, but I think they're going to be a lot quicker than the Ferrari uh, team overall. And I think they're not going to get to such a bad start like they have recently. And I do think the changes they make, they're going to make to their car are going to be mega. Uh, obviously, they're starting off a bit differently. They're going to basically use the same package everyone else is instead of the no side pods which has been dampening their seasons for the last two uh, which was a good concept and I'm very exciting when it happened but uh, turns out it was rubbish um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so uh, I do think they're going to be a lot closer to the Red Bulls uh, this season than if, and a bit further away from the Ferraris. Uh, with that in mind I'm going to put McLaren up next uh, We'll get to we'll get to that later though. It's going to be very close. That's yeah. mainly due to Piastri than anything that I'm putting my car in there. Yeah, I, I can see I can see your reasoning. Um, pretty much, I I have a lot of similar thoughts. It's just that I have pretty much the only thing that's different in my predictions that I have m- way more faith in Ferrari. Uh, and yes, what, and like, yeah, you do. Pretty much the same faith in Mercedes. Um, yeah. In terms of my P6 in the drivers, I have the first Red Bull of Checo Perez. And this might sound ridiculous considering Red Bull is just going to have another quick car. I just don't feel like a Red Bull is going to have much of a gap ahead of the top teams. Basically, pretty much the, what I think is going to happen is going to be, you know, the last few races of the season, like Austin, for example, where Perez worth nowhere, Max Force fighting Lando and Hamilton for the win. I think those yeah, yeah. those races are gonna ha- happen much, much more. I, I still feel yeah, like same, yeah. I still feel like uh Red Bull is gonna be very, very good car. I just don't feel like uh, Perez is gonna be yeah. extract I was Yeah. I was very tempted to put him in fifth. So Right. Um Yeah. I definitely understand your point. And I regret not putting him in fifth, if I'm honest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And there's of my, my best. In terms of my P5, uh, I I know I I said I'm a believer. I just don't feel like they're gonna have the quickest car over the entire season. I just feel like they're gonna be very very close to the best team. Um, and yeah, I have I prefer science in P5, which means I have McLaren in P3 in the constructors. Uh, science is nice. Pro- Science, in my opinion, is gonna have a good season, pretty much as same as last year. Like, he's gonna have a good season, still beating by Leclerc, uh, but a very, but a good season, can win races on, on his day, and things like that. Yeah, yeah, I definitely agree. I definitely agree. Um, well, this is where we get into the nitty gritty of it. I've already sort of said Perez is up next for me. Uh, I don't think he's he's gonna do incredibly well, but I think that car's just always so quick that it doesn't really matter. And yeah, he'll do well in the street tracks probably. I do regret putting him over Russell, but you know we live and we learn. Um, <laughs> and then I'm just, yeah. Yeah, I'm I don't want to do it. I'm gonna put Hamilton up next. 
Uh, I'm going to put Hamilton up next. I really wish... Uh, and he definitely could be up there. I think this top three is like going to be very racy with each other this season. Uh, so I'm, I'm definitely putting them up there. Or do I regret that? Mm, I mean, you could still change just, them, technically. Yeah. Well, okay. As long as, long as we um, haven't finished the video, we can change your predictions. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> we're going we're gonna to make a few changes. Yeah. Uh, same sort of reason there. And then I'm just thinking, the, the thought that crossed my head, mind just then was, Norris... I was going to put Norris top two because he's been amazing, right? But yeah. he hasn't won a race. And until he wins a race, I can't really put him in second. I do think he's going to get a lot of seconds this season, but the points difference between first and second is huge. Can I risk putting him in second place when there's just no evidence that he's won a race yet? And when he comes down to it in a title championship against... Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton, there's going to be a lot of throws, a lot of weird stuff happening. It'll get a lot more stressful. So I'm going to end up putting him third in the end, um, which, of course, pretty much cements my top two, which uh, should be no, no surprise to anyone. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> on to you. Now I've messed with my uh, thing. Oh, wait, I need to put teams. Uh, Mercedes on. Yeah, I, I just, I just, as far as I thought you were going to put the Red Bull there just because... Mercedes are going to have two drivers ahead of Perez, but yeah, I, I still think uh, someone's going to be very far ahead. Uh... <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. Um, yeah, in terms of mine, yeah, I, I have, I have different thoughts. I think it's going to be a, a close championship. Uh, I, I just, I'm just having a bit of hope because last season I predicted the Red Bull to basically dominate. I, I, I didn't expect them to dominate like like that, just not winning one race in the entire season, winning by like, what was it, 21 races? Just a ridiculous number. Uh, I expected Red Bull to finish P1 and P2 in drivers, but now I have a different feeling. I, I just want to stand by it. I just want to hope it actually happens. Um, some of my drivers, P4 is Lewis Hamilton. Comes as no surprise when I put Mercedes P4 in the, in the constructors. Uh, I think Hamilton is going to have a good season. Uh, Pretty much the same as last year. I think it's going to be so so similar to last year. It's going to be uh, just a few teams changing back and forth. Do you think they'll win a race? Uh, I want to say be two seasons in a row. I want to say yes, but I'm actually thinking that it's going it's going to be like Hamilton finishing P two five times and also not winning the race. Maybe he wins a sprint, but I don't I don't feel like he's going to win a Grand Prix and so. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong because we need some new winners. Well, new winners. He won 105 races or something like that. <laughs> but we haven't seen Lewis win in a long time. And I don't think many fans would be upset uh, from Lewis winning. B3 uh, from me is Lionel Norris. It's pretty much... Uh, yeah, P3 for McLaren, P3 for Lionel Norris. Uh, pretty much the same reasoning as you. I think he's going to be, he's going to have the car. He's going to be winning, not winning. It's difficult to say. He's going to, I think he's going to win races. Maybe, maybe even, okay. maybe even multiple races. At least one. I, I definitely think he's going to be winning at least one race. But I don't feel like he's going to have the consistency and the mentality to remain in the in the title fight with the two drivers up ahead in front of him, which kind of suggests that uh, I'm a bit I'm a bit higher hopey. <laughs> uh, my P two <laughs> in the constructors is Red Bull. Um, yeah, this is this, holy shit. <laughs> this this doesn't mean that Red Bull is not going to have, have a very good car. Probably going to have the best car over the entire season as well. I just don't feel like Perez is going to be close enough to Max. <laughs> or I basically think Sainz is going to be much closer to Leclerc than I think Perez is going to be to Max. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 which, yeah, which means Ferrari is going to top Red Bull just by a bit into the constructors. Uh, and for the drivers, I, yeah, I'll let you uh, tell you tell me your, your champions, basically, first. Uh, well, I think it's obvious. Um... I'm going to put Hamilton up top uh, in second, <laughs> which kills me. 
I would love him to win a rightly deserved eighth championship. And that does mean Verstappen is going to be at the top again. Um, I think he'll be closer, but I still think he'll be miles away from everyone else. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen. Uh, but yeah, that's why also Red Bull are at the top as well. Um, I, I say hopefully that doesn't happen as in racing. Uh, just for Max Verstappen fans out there, don't mind that he's on the top. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's sort of my uh, my overlining thoughts and feelings on it. Uh, I do think that they'll do well, but to be uh, to beat Verstappen, if the cars even, yeah, I mean, they just have such a gap to like figure out if you, Red Bull don't do anything. There's still a huge gap between the two, uh, t- between every team and them. So uh, that's going to be interesting. Yeah, a yeah, good point. Like, uh, Red Bull last year could have like not developed their car since Bahrain. I still would have won the constructor championship. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So yeah, uh, you're pretty much thinking that that same happens this year, uh, which. It's probably the reasonable option. It's probably the smart and wise option. I'm just, yeah. Uh, obviously, I, I suggest yeah. that the first going to be the constructors. That's, yeah, that's my prediction as well. Um, which also suggests that I have a different world champion as well. <laughs> oh, so I, I know you do. <laughs> yeah, based on constructors, it makes sense. Uh, listen. I believe Charles Leclerc has what it takes to be a world champion. I just need Ferrari to be competent for one season, for one damn season. They just need to sort out their pit stops, sort out their strategy, have a good car as in 2022. And as we saw in the early stages of 2022, Charles can definitely win a championship if given all the all the things that Red Bull give Max, for example. Uh, and. This is the time where I think Ferrari are going to rock up with the best car in Bahrain. Obviously, it's going to be a similar fight in 2020, like in 2022. It's just that Ferrari will keep up the develop, development progress over the entire season. And after a fair style of fight, uh, coming to the last race of the season, Charles Leclerc is going to win the championship and win the constructors as well for Ferrari. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I, I believe, uh, I'm not even believing my own words. It's just that bold. I, I also believe he has what it takes to be a world champion. Do I think he will be one? That's a different story. But, yeah, yeah, I, I, I get your point. I definitely do. So it'd be interesting to see what actually happens going into the season, basically. Yeah. Can't wait for Bahrain in just over a month time. I think it's the first week of March, right? Yes, Bahrain GP. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, because the, the testing weeks ends at the end of February, as well as the DTS uh, Drive to Survive Season 6 or whatever it releases. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, in about a month's time, we will try to put out the post testing predictions as well. And let's hope they're not. Too different from mine here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just hoping. I, I don't, I don't even think my, my impression is gonna happen. I just, I just want an uh, exciting season. I really starved of excitement from Formula One for, well, almost two years now. It's, I get you. Yeah, pretty much the last hope we had was was like Spain. And that that was the point where Leclerc had a mechanical DNF for like the third time that season, and Max overtook him in the championship. And we just knew that, yeah, this is pretty much over at that point. Ferrari just almost lost lost to Mercedes in the constructors. On I think that year as well. I may be mistaken, but I think Mercedes actually caught up in the at the end of the year quite a bit with Russell and P4 yeah, and the yeah. drivers as well. All right. Um. Okay, I think that's it for the predictions. Uh, thank you for coming to this video. Um, thank you for having yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm at loss of words. I, I am surprised by my own predictions. I just, uh, all right, let, let's let's you, hope. You, you've you, you've shocked yourself, which yeah. is a rare thing to do. But 
but props to you. Yeah, we have pretty much the same predictions for the rest of the grid. Um, with just yeah, our top ten is where it became. Uh, our top eight is where it became uh, apparent. Uh, the differences we see in this, the future of uh, this year's sport. Yeah, the funny thing is that we have McLaren in the same place, in both drivers and Chris Reckless. <laughs> do so, we? Oh yeah, we do! That's crazy! Yeah, we have Alonso at the same place, just... uh, Gasly at the same spot, Albon almost, uh, and constructors are pretty much the same for the bottom six for us. Yeah, yeah. basically, you feel, you thought Mercedes were going to be so, I thought Ferrari were going to be so... You thought Ferrari were going to be way quicker. <laughs> yeah. I think they are going to be. All right. All right. I guess we can wrap it up. Uh, thanks for everyone watching this video. Uh, I'll see you for, I think the simulation comes up tomorrow for the British Grand Prix. So make sure to check out one out. And see you next time. Bye. Bye.